The last article for RA 544 is the Enforcement of Act and Penal Provisions. Welcome to CE Laws, Contracts, and Ethics. It shall be the duty of all duly constituted law officers from national, provincial, city, municipal governments or any political subdivisions thereof to enforce the provisions of the Act and to prosecute any person violating the same. Section 33 states that no person, sole proprietorship, partnership or corporation shall practice or offer to practice civil engineering or engage or offer to engage in providing civil engineering consultancy services in the Philippines without having obtained the proper certificate of registration from the board. Any person or entity, whether private or public, Filipino or foreign, who shall entice, compel, coerce, require or otherwise cause a duly registered civil engineer to perform or undertake any civil engineering work or professional service without executing a written service agreement, appointment or employment contract shall be deemed guilty of violation of this act. Within six months from the effectivity of the Act, all existing and proposed positions in the local and national government offices, whether appointive, career, permanent, temporary, or contractual, and primarily requiring the services of civil engineers whether or not using that designation, shall be filled only by registered civil engineers who are members in good standing of the PICE. Section 36 would be the penal provisions. The following are considered violations. Any person who shall practice or offer to practice civil engineering in the Philippines without being registered in accordance with the provisions of this Act, or any person presenting or attempting to use as his or her own the Certificate of Registration or Professional Identification Card of a registered civil engineer. Any person who shall give any false or forged evidence of any kind to the board. Or any person who shall impersonate any registered civil engineer of different name. Any person who shall attempt to use a revoked or suspended certificate of registration or professional identification card. Any person who shall use in connection with his name or otherwise assume use or advertise any title or description tending to convey the impression that he or she is a civil engineer without holding a valid certificate of registration. Any head of the government agency or officer of a private firm or institution who fails to secure a special temporary permit from the board subject to approval of the commission prior to engaging the services of a foreign national to practice civil engineering under employ or engagement by the agency, firm, or institution unless such a foreign national has already been issued a special temporary permit. Or, foreign nationals who engage in the practice of civil engineering in the Philippines without the benefit of special temporary permit. Last, any person, partnership, or officers of corporation who shall violate Section 31 or any of the provisions of this Act and its implementing rules and regulations. Any violation shall be guilty of misdemeanor and shall be sentenced to a fine of not less than 100,000 but not more than 1 million pesos or to suffer imprisonment for a period of not less than 6 months nor more than 3 years or both at the discretion of the court. Foreign nationals proven guilty of violation will be subject to deportation. All parts of laws Orders, ordinances, or regulations in conflict with the provisions of the Act are hereby repealed. No laws or other allied professional shall limit the scope of the practice of civil engineering, nor shall exclude the civil engineer from practicing his or her profession as defined in the Act. If any part or section of the Act shall be declared unconstitutional, such declaration shall not invalidate the other provisions. And lastly, the Act shall take effect upon its approval. <music>